Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm super excited to show you guys a project that I've been putting together for a while. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a large power station as a home battery backup using a transfer switch. Now this video will not be a how to install a transfer switch guide. There are plenty of those YouTube videos out on the internet already. So we're gonna just jump into how it works and the benefits. Now I personally feel that you need to be prepared for any type of emergency, including power outages. So this is a great way to do that. So if you have a large power station and some backup solar panels, you don't have anything to worry about. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys how I have this set up. I'm down here in a storage room in my basement. I have my main power panel that comes in with all the circuit breakers. Next to that, I have my new transfer switch. And then down here, I have my power stations with their power going into the transfer switch. Okay, so taking a closer look, here's the transfer switch. Now it is installed and connected, but it's not trimmed out yet. So I have some gaps around it. I still need to trim that out. And then right here, I have my main power panel. So this is where the power comes in from your power company. And then you have all your circuit breakers for your lights and your outlets. Now what's cool about this transfer switch is instead of just having power come in from your power company, this allows you to have a gas generator or a power station feed the circuits in your house. Now you choose six of them, at least for the model that I have. This is a Reliance Controls ProTran 2 and it supports six circuits. So I chose six circuits in here and then basically connected these up. So now it has its own breakers here. So when you have the power coming in here, it uses these breakers. And then when you have it switched over to line power from your power company, it uses all these breakers. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, why did you decide to install a transfer switch in the first place? Now, there's actually two reasons why I decided to do this. First off, if my line power actually goes out, so the power is out, there's no safe way to backfeed power into your home unless you have a transfer switch. So I wanted to be able to have some backup power in case the power goes out and you can actually choose your six most important circuits. Like what I did is I chose my refrigerators, my kitchen lights, a couple bedrooms and my office and my garage. And so all those circuits are now able to run off of line power or off a generator. So in the event of a power outage, you can basically take a solar generator or a power station, or you could take a gas generator and plug it in and feed those six circuits. Now the benefit to having a power station is you can have it inside, it's completely silent. And if you have solar panels coming in, for example, the Blue Eddy AC300 can charge at 2,400 watts of solar. Now I have about 1,500 watts plugged in and it works really well. So once again, the first reason that I have a transfer switch is so that I could have backup power in case the power goes out. If you have a grid tie solar setup, if the power company stops sending power, the inverters will shut off and you can't have any electricity. So that's a downside of a grid tie solar setup. But if you have a transfer switch with power stations and solar panels, you can still have power if the power goes out. You don't have to have extension cables running around your house. And you don't have to move power station from appliance to appliance. So this is the first reason why I got one. Now, the second reason I decided to pick up a transfer switch was because I already had the solar panels and power stations around. Why only use them during a power outage when I can use it every single day? For example, if it's a good sunny day and I have battery capacity and solar panels, I can power these six circuits instead of paying for the electricity from my power company. So in turn, I can get a little bit back on my investment and lower my electric bill by using the power stations and solar panels throughout the day. Now I actually have the transfer switch enabled on four circuits right now, and it's all being powered by my Blue Eddy AC300. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the screen. Okay, so I have around 630 watts going out to all my appliances and lights right now. So that's the load on the battery. And I have this set to PV UPS mode. So the solar panels are actually matching the power output to try to keep the battery usage to a minimum. So you can see we have around 630 watts coming in on solar. Now I decided specifically on this transfer switch, I'll include it down in the video description because it came with this RV style plug that plugs into the AC300 30 amp output. So this is 120 volts, 30 amp output at 3000 watts total. So as long as I don't go over 3000 watts on those six circuits, I should be just fine. Now they actually do have smaller transfer switches that support a little bit smaller power stations. For example, this is the Blue Eddy AC200P. It supports 2000 watts output. So they actually have transfer switches with four circuits 
So as long as you didn't go over 2000 watts, you could power those four circuits off a smaller power station and it plugs right into the 20 amp plug on the inverter. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys this adapter that I bought. I thought it'd be really useful. So let's say the AC300 is really low on battery and I don't have much solar coming in and I really need to power a few things. I don't wanna start up a gas generator. Well, if I had my AC200P fully charged up, I could get this adapter. They call this a dog bone adapter. This is a 30 amp RV connection to a 15 amp. I'll include it down in the video description. Now, just a warning, you have to be very careful. This side will take 3000 watts total, remember? but this side will only do 1800. So you could only pull 1800 watts through this adapter. So as long as you're only running your most important circuits, an adapter like this would work so you can dump power from another power station into your appliances. So let's say my batteries are getting a little low and I don't have that much solar input. You can see I have four different circuits over on the power station right now and I have two running off line power. So I want to change one of these over to line power to save on my battery. So, so let's take circuit letter E, which is the basement bedrooms and garage, and we'll take E and we'll just flop it over really quick. Now you can see that the lights flickered because the lights on this room are actually on that circuit. But now I have three of them on line power and three of them off the power station. Now I just installed this setup today, so I don't have that much time behind this to see how it stands. I will definitely give you guys an update video in the future to see if I run into any issues with the Blue Eddy AC300 or using a transfer switch with a power station. Okay guys, well we've come to the end of the video. This project has been underway for a long time. It didn't take too long to install it, but basically planning it out and getting everything in the works. Now my main goal is to power two full-size refrigerators. I have one down here in the basement that we store some extra food in, and then our main fridge upstairs. I'd like to power both of these full-time and then some other circuits. Now I do have two solar panel arrays outside. I have a portable 720 watt array that works really well. I have a build video on that if you guys are interested. And then I also have 925 watts that I plan to put on my shed in the future. Anyway, guys, this has been fun. Hopefully you guys found some of this information helpful. Subscribe to the channel for future content. I will be providing an update on this in the future to let you guys know how it's going. My main goal is just so I don't have all these extension cords and power stations over the entire house. My wife is kind of sick of that. So this is a way to get around that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video.